That's PJ. Oh, he's ready to rip someone apart with his bare hands. You're gonna have to talk to him. <laughs> this isn't working, Maggie. We're gonna have to get you out of here. But you know, the fire, it might have been, um, it might have been a mistake. Oh, for God's sake, Maggie, start thinking like a copper. I want to believe what the physical evidence suggests, but I don't. These guys are good. They're very, very good, and they will not give up. Mum's gone, Robbie's gone, Dad's half cut most of the time. I mean, well, that leaves you and me. Witness protection. Witness protection may disappear. Nick, do you know what you're asking me to do? Look, this isn't something I'm in control of. You set the wheels in motion the moment you walked into that jail and saw Barry Craig. If only I could have stopped you. I... If only I could have stopped you. You're asking me to make, to make a choice between my life and a life with PJ. What am I supposed to do? I was, uh, I was thinking about the wedding vows. I, I was thinking that we should probably work on them together. I mean, it's going it's to be a joint effort, isn't it, Max? I had a good thought about your mum's wedding dress. Now, it's not going to be a problem because I'm, I'm, I'm going to dig up some old photos from Pat and, and we're going to be able to reproduce it perfectly. It's not going to be a problem at PJ, all. I, I... I love you and I love the people that I work with too much to ever put you in any danger. I can't marry you. I don't have any choice. I can't stay here. I have to disappear. No. No, we, 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 we can work out a way. I, I can't marry you. Becky Doyle can't marry anyone because in a few days she, she won't exist. Oh, did you get some sleep last night? Yeah, a bit. Have you filled in a requisition form for a new uniform? Yeah, I've written the forms and the insurance claims for the house stuff. They're going to send over an assessor. You all right? Yeah, fine, thanks. Morning. Maggie, can I have a word, please? No, I think you've said all you need to, PJ. Maggie? Not now. Yes, now. Now, because this is ridiculous. You are making a mountain out of a mole here. Yeah, you're amazing. You think that everything is okay because you say it's okay, but it's not. It's only a job. No, that, you like no, to calm no I'm sorry. Down. No. That is not the principle, PJ. You can get a detective's job anywhere. No, I don't want a detective's job anywhere. I want to stay here. Oh, great. So what am I going to do when we're married and we can't work together here? What am I supposed I to do, know. hey? I don't oh, know. I could get a nice little desk job over at St David's. Oh, better still, I could retire and keep house for you. Well, we have discussed this. No, we haven't discussed it, PJ. That job offer at the coroner's court is a really good one, and you can get a transfer to Melbourne like that. Well, what do you want me to do? I don't know. Well, you could take what I want seriously Perhaps you once. too would like to close the door? Thank you very much for your consideration, boss. It's nice to get some from someone, but I think we're finished talking. Oh, well, really? Well, what's that supposed to mean? I know exactly what I mean. I am beginning to think that I am wasting my time. Meaning? Meaning that this whole thing is a huge mistake. You don't want what I want. I just, just finish it Maggie, now. Maggie, you are acting like a spoiled brat in front of everybody. Oh, am I? The wedding is off. If I had your bloody ring, I'd throw it at you. I'm really sorry. Can I speak to you in your office, please? 